Zuerst muss ich dir sagen, wie leid es mir tut wegen deinen Eltern. Beide auf einmal zu verlieren, das ist wirklich tragisch. Tja, dein Fall war alles andere als einfach. Wir haben alle Fakten sehr gründlich in Betracht gezogen. Und dabei denken wir natürlich in allererster Linie an das Wohl des Kindes. Weißt du, es ist nicht einfach, ein dreijähriges Kind großzuziehen. Ich weiß, aber ich kann für sie sorgen. Sie ist meine Schwester. Sie ist mit mir vertraut. Es wäre echt nicht fair, sie zu fremden Leuten zu geben. Ich weiß, es wird am Anfang ein bisschen schwer sein für Katrin, sich an ihre neuen Pflegeeltern zu gewöhnen. Aber sie wird sich bestimmt einleben. Und glaub mir, die wissen, wie man mit einem dreijährigen Kind umzugehen hat. Katrin gehört zu mir. Sie hängt an mir. Bitte geben Sie sie nicht weg. Lena, Katrin ist jung. Sie wird sich schnell an ihre neuen Eltern gewöhnen. Und dabei bist du gerade erst mal 18 Jahre geworden. Viel zu jung für unsere Richtlinien, ein Kind zu erziehen. Es tut mir leid, aber spätestens morgen um 12 Uhr muss Katrin ihren neuen Pflegeeltern übergeben werden. Es ist ein wirklich nettes Ehepaar, die werden dir gefallen. Ich weiß, am Anfang wird es etwas schwer für dich sein, aber später wirst du einsehen, dass es für euch beide das Beste war. Und du weißt, du kannst Katrin jedes dritte Wochenende besuchen. Smile for me now. Trixie, smooth smile, huh? <laughs> okay, girls. Let's everybody be smiling. Let's get out there and polish some zippers tonight, huh?
Hey, Levon, how was it tonight? It was all right. Uh, I bet those magic fingers was flying across the eight years. <laughs> no doubt. But you know, that place is not happening. It's like nobody's gonna see you in there. It's like in one of them hamster cages, you know, and you're running and running and running and running. All right, all right. You know what you should be doing? Uh, lay it on me. You should start a band with me. Uh, don't start that again. Levi, we'd be great together, man. We love the same music. We got the same records, for Christ's sakes. Well, you don't even have a guitar. I got a guitar. Yeah, well, I've been to your house, and I haven't seen a guitar. Uh, okay, Mr. know it -all. I don't have a guitar. How about 64 Strat, all original, except for pickups and tuners, and it's got a little Milton signature on the back of it. Little Milton, yeah. huh? No shit. Well, I'd like to see that. Well, I mean, you can't really see it no good no more. It's, it's kind of been rubbed off. Yeah, well, how do you know it's there? It's there. You just can't see it. Well, where is your guitar? Uh, I am presently storing it in the pawn shop. Huh. I'm getting it out soon. When I do, we start this band, okay? We play nice joints, okay? No dives, nice joints, lots of important people. You know, velvet on the walls. There's gonna be like beautiful women in there and stuff. Anyway, we get a good rhythm section, right? Very important. And I'm thinking maybe some horns, a couple horns, tenor, trumpet, uh, alto, barry, trombone, if we do like weddings and stuff, I doubt that. But you know, for the good money, we get a trombone. Hey, how'd it go tonight? All right. I gave Ramon another $300. How was the bar? We were just talking about that, as a matter of fact. I have to leave on to get out of there, you know? Step up a little bit. Let's start our own band. Uh, come on, Pierre. Don't start that again. You know, we're gonna play like nice joints, no dives. The kind of place has got like velvet on the walls. We're gonna be wearing matching suits. Gonna come on, happen. I've had it. All right, I'll shut up, jeez. Touchy tonight. Just saying, you know, when I get my guitar out of hock, things are really gonna start happening for us, that's all. You know, we just like get a decent rip. Jesus Christ! Levon, what's what your you problem? That was expensive coffee, man. That was an Ethiopian hurrah. That stuff's expensive. Yeah, I'm sorry. We get you another coffee. It's all right, I'll get one later when I get a sandwich. We should have him paid off soon. Here, this is the last time. Buy yourself some shoes. Don't lose it this time. I'll be back here by 10. 
Come here. Yeah, I won't let him hold me down for too long. How do you feel? Fine. Check this out. Wow. Does it hurt? Not at all. What's in the box? I got you a present. <laughs> I think you're going to like it. Touching, okay? Maybe twenty dollars. Chill out. I said no 
Don't fucking touch him, okay? I gave you two months. What the fuck are you doing? Where you going, bitch? Look at this kind of place they running around here. What establishment is this? What you mean, oh, are you coming over here too now? Still not used to it? Fucking bitch took off my money. I thought we were allowed to touch the $20. Here, you want $20? I'll give you $20. See what you can do. Yeah. Take this shit. Hi. Ramon wants to see you in his office in 10 minutes. You're in trouble. Lena, come in, sit down, make yourself comfortable. Would you like a drink? Would you like to do a line? So, how's everything going? How's your little sister? Is she all right? That operation and all. She's fine. Good. And how is Levon? Is the big guy okay? Can you get to the point, Ramon? He's probably waiting for me outside. Oh, yeah. We don't want Levon coming up here looking for you, do we? <laughs> We know how it gets him all fired up. <laughs> he doesn't like you working here, does he? You know how he feels about it. I wonder why he disapproves so much. Maybe it's a kind of jealousy. Since you make so much more money than he does playing piano in that shithouse of a bar. I am really trying very hard to understand why he doesn't like you working here. Hey, stay out of it, will ya? Don't you see I'm fucking talking here? Just fucking relax. Thank you. Where were we? Oh, yeah, Levon's problem with you working here. Well, it can't be me. But I'm not a bad guy to work for. What do you think, guys? Am I a good employer or what? Oh, very generous, boss. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I think it is? I think Levon just can't handle the fact that you spend the better part of your day grinding away on some other guy's lap. <laughs> I'm out of here. Lena, 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 sit back down. What? You want to discuss Levon some more? Come here, sit close. Because I want you to listen, since I am not going to explain it again. I've been getting some complaints about your enthusiasm on the floor. It's not making me happy. Now, we made a deal. I loaned you money, and in return, you work it off here at the club. Now, the way I see it, you still owe me $4,100. It's only a thousand, Ramon. Which means you are going to be working here for a while. Now, it doesn't matter to me whether you like the job or not. What matters to me is that when you're out on the floor, you act like it's the best fucking job in the world. As a matter of fact, I want you to act like it isn't even a job. You would do it for free because you love it so much. Do you hear me? <laughs> Fucking guys grabbing me, you know? The bouncers, they're not doing their job. At this point, I don't fucking care. You do your job and act like it's heaven. Understand? Now, you're going to be working here for a while, so tell Levon to get used to it.
She's done. What is this? That's the money we owe you. Oh, that's what this is. You want a drink or uh, maybe a jump? Come on. I came here for two things. One to give you the money, the other to tell you Atlanta quits. Levon, let me explain something to you. I didn't go out and find Lena and loan her the money. She came to me, understand? So out of compassion, I loaned her the money. Levon, Lena and I made a deal, which is Lena, your girlfriend, is going to be grinding her ass on as many men as possible in order to pay me back the money she owes me. Now, I don't give a fuck if she doesn't like it or if you don't like it. I only give a fuck that my customers like it. So my advice to you is to go home and tell Lena to get over it and fulfill her end of my more than generous deal. It's really very easy. All I want her to do is put a smile on my customers' faces. What do you think, guys? <laughs> With a body like Lena's, how could it not be straight up? <laughs> get it, get it. <sighs> Levon, you are really very stupid. <laughs> Burn Lewis, put his hand on my desk. Levon, can a piano player play piano without any fingers? I'm gonna ask you again. Can a piano player play piano without any fingers? No. <laughs> I would imagine it would be rather difficult. Levon, you ever come in here again like you did today, making demands? I promise you will not play piano again with all ten digits. Now take your petty cash, get the fuck out of my face. He's gone. Never, never saw her again. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I said, you know what? I'm gonna be a millionaire in two years. And she was saying, yeah, I'm coming back. She never came back. Ivy room. Yeah. No, no. She never came back. Um, yeah, okay. Well, Mozart, looks like the kid's in trouble again. Please. It states here that your name is Levon Sims. Mm-hmm. Well, Mr. Sims, as you may or may not know, Catherine here was caught shoplifting. Although the store owner has decided to drop the charges, 
We, here at the department, have the option of charging her with the crime if we believe it will deter her from doing it again. We usually base that decision on how cooperative the suspect is at the time of arrest and processing, which Catherine here was very cooperative. So with that, I'm releasing her into your custody, but I promise you, if she shows up here again, she'll be spending at least 30 days in the juvenile facility, which is not such a bad place compared to some of the homes these kids like Catherine come from. What does that mean? Let's just say you don't impress me. Take these forms, sign them, and drop them off at the front counter. So what happened to your eye? Forget about my eye. Really fucked up today. Just wanna be like a tree.
Just wait till they finish. That's it. Turn off the engine. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Now. On your hands. On your hands. And what are you fighting for? We're brothers. You're brothers? Yeah, we're brothers. You got a problem with that? You don't look like brothers to me. Same mother, different fathers. So what, do you make a habit of beating the shit out of each other in the desert? Huh? Where's your car? You break down? We don't have a car. We had a lift. Well, where's your lift? It kicked us out. How come? Because we started fighting. What's your name? Me? Yeah, you. Ski. Ski? Yeah, Ski. All right, you? Ski. Ski? Yeah, Ski. Ski's French for God. If you guys behave yourselves, I'll give you a lift to the next town. Oh, great. Get in. Listen, try and wake these guys up. I'm gonna go check in. Be back in a second, all right?
you know what you want? No, I'm not sure yet. You guys getting anything? We don't have any money thanks to him. You're the one that taught me how to count cards. Yeah, but nobody taught you how to count. I count. We'd have money if you'd follow my system. <clears throat> Your system sucks. Listen, here's 20 bucks. Why don't you guys get yourself a room? Thanks. When I hit it big, I'll look you up. Yeah, if you'd listen to me sometimes, we'd have our own casino. Hey! Hey, take it easy. Don't kill each other. Take care. Have a good night, Levon. He's getting low. What kind of jobs could we get out here? Listen, I saw a bar on the way into town today. I want to go down there and see if I can get a piano gig. Tonight? Someone to play it? Nope. You already got someone? Nope. I just thought I'd ask if you'd over there and all. City fag piano player. It's with Mr. Fresh Breath over here. Get up off that stool. I'm gonna make it so both your eyes match. Can I have another soda, please? Come on, pussy, come on! Time to go home, Doug. You're not gonna like it if I have to get up and come over there. Better go home. He always wanted to be a police officer, but he couldn't pass the psychological test. So in the infinite wisdom of the city fathers, they made him the dog catcher. Now Stuckey's got this one. Come on over, son. Sit down. You play piano? Yeah. Any good? Some people think so. Last piano player we had here died. What happened? They shot him. Why? Playing out of tune. Tell you what. Why don't you go over to that old 88 and play us a number? Go on, boy. Play us a tune. And stay in tune.
Well, Slade, looks like this man's developed a thirst. Uh, give, uh... Levon. Give Levon whatever he wants on me. Beer, please. Yeah, that's some of the best piano playing I've heard since Professor Longhair played here. Professor Longhair played here? Yeah, back when the mines were full. Goldfield had a lot of musicians stop by then. Never would have thought it. Yeah, well, looks like you got yourself a job, if you want it. Yeah. You got a place to stay? Uh, well, my girlfriend and I and her little sister were staying at the Santa Fe, but I don't think we can afford another night. Ah, don't worry about that. You come by my shop in the morning. It's just down the street. I'll see about getting you a place to stay. How's that? Great. Thanks. Hey, this is my girlfriend, Lena, and her sister, Hi, Catherine. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. Oh, rarely has Goldfield been blessed with such <laughs> beauty, you. huh? I'd like you to meet Chi-Chi, my I dear know. friend. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Hey, Levon, come here. What's come here. You know Chi-Chi and her daughter, Rosalie, run a cat house just outside of town called the Cottontail. You know, that Rosalie's one hell of a singer. You think it'd be all right if she sits in for a number on your opening night? Why not? Hey! What do you say we go set you up in your new place? Wow, yeah. Chi Chi, can you watch the store for me? All right. Well, let's go. Well, there she is. 22 feet of the finest American engineering this side of Gap. Call her Louise. It's cute. Kathleen, what do you think? Oh, it's cute. It's small. It's smaller than the place we had in the city. Yeah, but look at the space outside of it. You don't get that in the city. It is part of the city ordinance that all dogs are supposed to be on a leash. Okay, relax. I think I need to give you a bit of a lecture about the rules and regulations of owning a dog in this county. Okay, let's do that. Your truck will be fine. Shit! $20. I don't care. I thought you guys left town. Well, we thought you left town. No. Yeah. No, I got a job here playing piano. I'll be here for a while. You need a backup singer? Shut up. You can't mm -hmm. sing. He can't sing. 
Yeah, Stooky, this is goo. It's gee. Yeah, gee and uh, ski. Gee? Ski? Hey, nice outfit. You guys get me in town long? Well, we're both broke. Hey, you need any card dealers around here? Got my own cards. Blackjack, poker, nah. pit boss? I couldn't use anything like that. But if you guys really need a job and want to work hard, stop by my shop about an hour. I'll have something for you. OK? <laughs> OK. Here's what we're going to do. You see all this scrap metal over here? I want you to take it over there and put it against that fence. And I want you to do it military fashion. I want you to put the heavy stuff on the bottom, light stuff on the top, OK? Let's go, come on. This is going to fuck up my hands. Probably get dirt under my nails. That'd be embarrassing, sitting down at a poker table with dirt under my nail. Just shut up, Ski. All right, you guys, let's get a move on. Come on. You better not get us fired. Good morning. morning. How you doing, huh? Good. Oh, Louise, keep you warm? It sure did. Listen, I want to introduce you to a dear friend of mine, Rosalie. Rosalie? Hey. This is the gang. Hey, hey. how y'all doing? Hi, I'm Lena. Hi, Lena. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Rosalie wants to see you about a tattoo. I want to be your first customer. That'd be great. Ooh, almost forgot. Hey, you can't start a business oh, without wow. a sign, huh? That's oh, great. Wow. Levon told me you, you were opening up, so I've been working on it since about 6.30 this morning. You like it? I love it. This will definitely get me some customers. Come on in. OK. Thank you, Stooky. Oh, sure. I'll, uh, I'll find a place to hang it up. Come on. What happened to Javier? Well, we were going to get married, but he ran off with a model. So are you sure about this Leroy? Yeah, I'm sure. He's crazy about me. All right. Let's do it, then. call it junk. Well, some people do, but nevertheless, I like it. Yeah, I like old stuff, too. I don't like new fashionable stuff. You know, Oscar Wilde said, fashion is something so terrible, it has to be changed every six months. <laughs> <laughs> I got something old you might like. This the old miners used to use. It's got a deer antler handle. You see that sharp point? You know what that's for? The miners used to trim their nose hairs with it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's the chicken for? Oh, the old lucky, funky German chicken, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's made in Germany? Yeah. I was born in Germany. You were? Yeah. Well, maybe you're the same age. <laughs> Careful, it bites. <laughs> What's this for? Ah, oh, do a little mountain climbing. Ooh. <laughs> you 
like it? Yeah. Well, it's yours. Really? How about that? Sure. Thanks. Just a second. I'll go get a stool and I'll get it down for you. Nervous about tonight? No, why? Well, Stooky told me there's gonna be a lot of people there. Like, a lot more than you used to playing for at the Ivy Room. Well, there couldn't be that many people. It's a ghost town. I'm sure you're right. I mean, I'm sure you'll live through it as long as you don't play out a key or anything. Hey, don't make him nervous. I'm not nervous. Levi, are you nervous? Come on, will you? I hate to tie her up out here. Attention, everyone. I know things have been kind of rough this year with all the mine closings. But I just think if we have a little faith and assurance that this will pass. I've always felt that music gives you that positive vibe and boost. Nothing else in life can touch. And that being said, we got a real special treat tonight. All the way from all the way from Looning, Nevada, Levon Sims! work. Thanks. So he's slinging ink in town now. Yeah. yeah. I never let a girl work on me before, but uh, looking at you can be sort of fun. I got some skin for you. Let's put my nickname on my back. What's your nickname? Big 10 inch. He's my brother. No, no, no. I'm serious. I want like a reaper, then I want a rose, and I want flames all around it. And big 10 inch in large capital letters across the top. You're serious.
What are you doing tonight? You want to go for a ride? No, I got a boyfriend. All right, then I'll come see you tomorrow. Whatever. sure she didn't get loose? I'm sure I tied a good knot on her collar. I think I know what happened. That damn Doug took her in. To where? Dog jail. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about it now, though. Hey. All right. Good night. Good night. Come on, baby. We'll find her tomorrow. Yeah. Good show. Good All show. right, Stooky. Bye. A dog catcher ain't cool. Yeah. We got a job to do. We'll have enough money in a couple days to get her out of the pound. That dog catcher is evil. She must be so scared. Hey, Catherine! Luna! Luna! Hello. Come here. Look at you guys. Where'd you get the money to get the dog out of the pound? We broke her out. Shut up. Great. That's just what I need. That psycho dog catcher think we broke into his pound. Up. Oh, shit. Here they come. These are the ones. I know you broke her out. Now where is the dog? Get out of my face. Now back off, Doug. This is very annoying to me to have problems with out-of-towners. Apparently, somebody broke into the pound and took the dog that you guys own. And we got fingerprints, too. Hey, we haven't seen our dog. Yeah, I tied her up. He must have untied her. That's not true, Sheriff. The dog was gallivanting all over the place, out in front of the saloon. OK, I'll make this easy. If the dog comes home and you pay the fee, then we'll forget about everything else. But if I hear of any more trouble coming from you guys, you're not going to like it. Yeah. Understand? You guys have a nice day. Come on, Doug.
Are you sure that's what you really want to get? Yeah. That's what they call me. Big 10 inch. What are you doing? You know, I don't like tattooing drunks. Too late. I've been drinking all day. Ready now? Yeah, now. You know, I can lick my eyebrows. I'm sure you can. Come on, give me a kiss. Listen, if you don't quit, I'll quit. So good. Come on, big boy, you can handle it. Franco, Franco. How you been? Good, man. It's going to work, man. Hey. Huh? Hey, oh, fuck. What's going on? Man, I haven't seen you in a while. No doubt. Oh, I just saw my sweetie up at the trailer last night. She gave me a tattoo. She likes me so much, she put my nickname on my back. Ah. You guys, my brothers, are the first to see it. Let's see your new ink, man. Here you go, man. Yeah. You're going to love this. I just like that pain. Oh, it's fucking radical, man. Radical. All right. You guys are going to love this. Brother, I don't think that's what you wanted. What do you, man? What do you mean? <laughs> it's on my back! What the fuck you doing on my back? <laughs> the fuck's on my back? <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> We got a special treat tonight. Rosalie's gonna sing us a song. Oh, thank you so much for the warm hand on my opening. This one's for all of you from all of me. I thought I was a snake. I started crawling on the ground. I started barking like a hound I thought I was a coyote howling at the moon Stumbling and a bumping like a flippin' mighty goon 
something? I didn't hear a motorcycle put up. That's because I pushed that up the road. Voodoo, voodooed me, yeah. joke. You don't think I really tattooed that on you. The writing on your back isn't a real tattoo. I didn't want to do it. The writing you wanted was stupid. What are you doing? You might make it any minute. Shut the fuck up. He pulled out a box from out of nowhere. A tooth from a fox and a little hunk of hair. He had a zebra stripe from a leopard giraffe. He had a zebra stripe and a honey in his lap. Uh, 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 you gotta teach me a lesson, huh? Uh, 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 Just about as mixed up as a girl can be. Voodoo, voodoo, voodoo no! me, voodoo <laughs> me. Help me, okay? Let's drag him to the side of the trailer. Yeah, he's a gunner, all right. I just wish I could have done it. We're gonna have to find a way to get rid of the body. God, I wish he wasn't so goddamn big. Got a large trunk, though. He should fit. Go over and get the body bag. Body bag? I thought it was your laundry bag. Well, it's a body bag, but sometimes I use it for my laundry. Listen, Stooky. I just wasn't born to deal with shit like this. Well, it looks to me like you were born to deal with shit like this. Because I need your help. Listen to me. Now, I know a place we can get rid of the body. But he's so goddamn big. Go ahead. the gold fields in the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest boxing match ever held? It sure is. Joe Gans and Battling Nelson went 42 rounds. Can you imagine? Where are we going to dump the body? Ah, don't worry about that. You know, in those days, a round didn't end until there was a knockdown. 42 rounds, 42 knockdowns. Man, it was hot. 96 degrees in the shade, September 1906. Can we just drive? Hey, take it easy.
Let's get the party out. Oh, man. Come on. We're just gonna dump the body out here? Yeah. We're gonna drop him off in a place that'll give him a good head start to where he'll most likely end up. Where? To hell. Come on, let's go. So this is what you mean by hell. Yeah. Doesn't exactly reach. But it's close enough. It's over 300 feet down. It's the old Smith Ridge mine. Well, let's do it. You ready? Another scumbag easily disposed of. You've done this before? What did you do with the motorcycle? Well, me and Stuckey took it to his yard and we chopped it up. You think she'll be all right? I think so. We haven't really talked about it. Hey, Sheriff, I don't mean to bother you or anything, but you know, my friend Franco's been missing for the last three days. I was wondering if maybe you didn't have him locked up or something. No, I don't. Where did you see him last? Well, down there at the garage. He'd gotten a tattoo from that gal down there in the trailer, and he wasn't real happy about it. So he'd went to talk to her, and nobody's seen him since. Well, I'm gonna have to look into that. All right, thank you, Sheriff. I'd appreciate that. this up at Stuckey's shop. I paid for it. It's Alice in Wonderland. 
I don't know what happened to the cover. Do you remember what I would say to you when we were on the boat? Yes. What was it? We're going to Wunderland. <laughs> Yeah, mind your act, please. Do you have some cup, huh? Yes. They didn't do anything. Well, we feel we have enough evidence to hold them. If that's the case, we're a book to see those things. Just be patient, Levon. I don't know, I'm scared. They said it was just for questioning. Please. Please. Okay. We want to talk to you. Now hold on, girls. They're only here for questioning. Listen, Ed, you know as well as I do, if those two girls did something to Franco, you can bet he was asking for it. Now listen, Chi-Chi, it is my responsibility to find out what happened to Franco. Well, whose responsibility was it when Franco beat up Julie? 
But Franco spent three days in jail for that. Yeah, what a trade-off. Three days for a broken nose. Well, I'm sorry. It has to be investigated. All right, Ed. I didn't want to do this, but you give me no choice. Give it to him. What is this? This isn't going to look too good around town for you, Ed, especially it being election year and all. Welcome to Gee and Ski's Highball Lounge. Please give a hand to the Levon Sims Band. Next up, Rosalie is going to be joining them for a number, so please give her a warm welcome. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 